Hey guys, Kevin here with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. This is the first update for Hurricane Milton. We are riding out the storm at our house just east of Tampa. When the storm passes, it should be about 20 miles from the house. We're about 20 miles north of the track as it exists right now. Of course, we know tracks can change. Hopefully for us, the the storm will move farther south, but that means that people south of us will get the worst of it. Right now, it's just a steady rain with just a little bit of wind, but no wind gusts, nothing, you know, even approaching tropical storm force winds. We are as ready as we can be, guys. So we have the cargo camper all ready to go, uh, ready to be pulled out of my barn as soon as the storm passes. I'm assuming we won't have power. I'm assuming we won't have internet. So we're going to pull out the cargo camper. We're going to use the generator on board of the cargo camper to power uh, both the cargo camper and the essentials in the house like refrigerators and freezers, lights and fans, those kinds of things. Uh, we have plenty of gasoline. We've got about enough gasoline to run for 10 days. So hopefully we'll have power before that. We also have our Starlink internet system ready to go. So we'll be able to do some updates. Unlike last time we rode through a storm, a lot of times when this happens, guys, we lose cell phone towers or the towers are prioritized for uh, EMS and fire and police and National Guard and that kind of thing. So we get deprioritized, uh, which doesn't do us a lot of good. So uh, we're going to have Internet. Uh, we'll have Wi-Fi calling. So we'll be able to reach out to family and friends, let them know we're OK after the storm. I am concerned, guys. We could see 100 mile an hour winds here at the house. We have trees. Uh, large oak trees all across our property, our two-acre property here. So I'm imagining, imagining we're going to have quite a bit of chainsaw work to do uh, when the storm passes. But other than that, guys, you know, we are, we're as prepared as we can be. We've got all of our lanterns ready to go. I mean, this is when it's great to be an outdoorsman, great to be a camper. We've got all of our lanterns, our headlamps, our flashlights, everything's ready to go. I've got a 12 volt battery system with an inverter in the house ready to go to power stuff up before I can get the trailer out. So I'm imagining we're gonna lose power in the middle of the storm, which I mean it'll be several hours before we can pull the cargo camper out and start you know, up on generators. So I've got a battery system that's gonna hopefully hold us out until then. And I'll be able to recharge that battery system off the generator. So we are ready. The only thing I'm really concerned about, guys, is I'm running out of hurricane snacks. So it's taken Milton a long time to get here, and we've still got a number of hours to go before she makes or he makes landfall. So we're just hunkered down, and we're ready. So guys, stay tuned to Kemp Outside. I'm going to be bringing you some live updates during the storm as best I can. And anybody in the path of the storm, stay, stay safe. Uh, if you're in an evacuation zone, please get out. Now is the time, and uh, we'll see everybody soon. Guys, take care. I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside, and in this case, your source for on the ground with Hurricane Milton, doing my best impression of Jim Cantore. Stay tuned.